My name is Jeff Fordley. I'm one of the ambassadors for Crohn's and Colitis UK. We are uh, here today at Emmerdale, which is my workplace, where I play the character of Kane Dingle. This is uh, the bull pack, as you can see, and um, you can't see all the lights above us, but we're in the studio, and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I was diagnosed with Crohn's in, I think it was, it was 1996, but I think it was about March 1996, to be precise. In my final year at drama school, I was doing Wuthering Heights. I wasn't playing Heathcliff, because that's what everybody thought that my, um, m m all the people in my year were like, yeah, he's gonna, that's good, that you're gonna. I was playing Joseph, the old farmhand, who was about 80 years old. So I'm kind of glad I missed that play, because I actually missed the play, um, because of uh, my illness. I had a, uh, went to the hospital in Manchester. I'd been vomiting a lot, I had a lot of stomach ache. I looked really pale, I'd lost an awful lot of weight. They um, explained that I had Crohn's disease. Um, which instantly frightened me because um, my mother, when I was nine years old, had died because she'd had uh, Crohn's. Uh, she had Crohn's disease. Um, so I just thought, oh, does that mean I'm going to die too? You know, um, obviously not the case. Uh, Technology has moved on so much more since 1979. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was quite a frightening time, um, and I had to have an operation where they took part of my small bowel. Uh, and packed my large bowel out. I was left with a big um, scar, which is quite impressive. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that, was the, that was the beginning of it for me. I became an ambassador um, for two reasons. One, uh, very, two very personal reasons, um, kind of in memory of my mother, and also because I thought it was really important to support uh, Crohn's and Colitis UK and, and, and to, to, to tell people out there that it's not you know, it's not all doom and gloom. It's, it, you can get on with your life and you can live a full and happy and normal life. Um, Cause I think, you know, when you're first diagnosed, you do get bombarded with so much information that it, it's, it, it can kind of snow you under a little bit, but um, it's not the end. Uh, well, when I, when I first um, was diagnosed, I, I got in touch with, with Crohn's and colitis. All the information and stuff that they sent me was, was fantastic. And I've seen all the stuff that they've done for other people. Um, and I just think they're a really important charity. Here in Leeds, we, we want to, to raise as much money as we possibly can to get um, a couple of these machines in, in uh, St. James's Hospital and, and the uh, Leeds Royal Infirmary. It's a machine where we, you'll have a little belt, isn't it? And, and you do this little tablet and then it kind of works its way through your system and then we'll kind of, the camera will kind of show us what, um, what's going on inside. It'd be a great thing if we can, uh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna try and do a ball. I'm gonna get some people from work to come down and, um, and, and we're gonna do lots of other things um, to try and, uh, because it's a, it's a really important machine um, for us to have. I think just, I think speak to people and be open um, is, is the best thing. I know it's not necessarily, like I say, I've had years of talking about toilets and, and, and going to the toilet and, 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 you know, and using the word poo and da 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 da. Um, I think don't be shy, be positive, um, talk about it to your friends, um, to, to your loved ones, to, to your family, um, and, don't, and don't despair because it's not the end. Um, you know, it, it's it's a, it's an illness that we learn to live with, um, and and everything will be all right. Hello, my name's Jeff Fordley. I play Kane Dingle in Emmerdale. I'd just like to say we need as much money as we can to fund research for Crohn's and Colitis UK. So please, please, give generously. <laughs>